My name is Mark Dean. I'm the uh, musical director of Strange Face Theatre. And uh, at the moment I'm working on composing a show for the Stable Theatre, which is a version of Pinocchio. Uh, it is the fourth show I will have written for Strange Face. I started out uh, my musical career as an opera singer. I spent about 15 years singing roles around the UK and Europe and uh, I actually got a little bit um, tired of doing that because of the, uh, uh, the lifestyle that you have to maintain, uh, as in you can't drink, you can't smoke, not that I smoked, but you can't stay up late, you can't have curry or anything like that. Uh, and those are, apart from the smoking, all things that I love to do. So, and not only that, but I, I, I discovered after 15 years that I was a bit tired of singing words and music that thousands of people had sung before me and I wanted to do something different. So anyway I gave up for a while um, and concentrated on my uh, parallel career which was photography, photographing shows. Um, and I was, I did that for a couple of years and I bought this house and uh, because I needed some kind of more solid uh, income to, to get a property. So anyway, I decided that I was then going to go back to singing, but at that stage, Russell said to me, my brother, who is the artistic director of Strange Face, he said, Mark, I've got a great story. And I remember at my mother's house, we were sitting in the kitchen and he told me this story uh, about a soldier that goes to a town. And anyway, uh, it, was a, it was a great story. And I said, Russell, that's, that's a fantastic story. And he said, I'm glad you like it because I want you to write the music. And I said, I've never written music. And he said, well, I think you can do it. Uh, so I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot and, and see what I come up with. And uh, he said, oh, not only that, but I want it played on a piano accordion. I said, well, I've never played a piano accordion either. And he said, well, go and get one. Uh, and one day I was at a car boot sale and uh, I saw this little ancient accordion from the forties. And uh, I, I uh, it reminded me of an accordion that my father used to play to us on a Sunday night. He used to play us three tunes and then we knew it was time for bed. It was in an English country garden, um, the, no, was it uh, Scotland the Brave uh, and something else. I can't remember what the third one was, but uh, we knew it was time for bed. Anyway, I saw this accordion in the car boot sale and it uh, just brought all those memories flooding back. It looked quite similar as well. A smaller version. So I bought it for 40 quid and I thought ah, this is great, it's great. And very soon, after a couple of months of fiddling around with this accordion, because it always looked very complicated to me, all the buttons and how do you know which ones to press, um, I went up to London and I bought this, well there's an accordion here that you can't see, uh, <laughs> uh, an Italian accordion. Um, and Show me which one. It's this one here. And it, obviously it was far superior to the accordion I'd been fiddling around with, but... Uh... And in fact this was the accordion that I played uh, for A Christmas Carol, which was the last uh, show we did last season at the, the stables. I uh, had microphones fitted to it which is what those volume knobs on the top are for. It's just a simple three voice, which means there are three sets of reeds in the treble. Um, so you can flick between them. Uh, so yes, so I went, and, I, I went and bought that. And I had six months before the first night of the, uh, the, the last resort, which was the show. And I couldn't play it properly so I, I shut myself in my house for six months for six hours a day I did absolutely nothing else than sit with that on my knee and play the accordion and but most days Vanessa was living with me at the time uh, my my now wife most days she'd go off to work and I would before I knew it it was lunchtime and I just I got very obsessive about it and uh, before long I was up to a, a decent standard um, 
occasionally during the first shows I would look down and think, what's this? You know, in the, in the, in the, in the moment and uh, find it very difficult to keep playing the right notes. But it's, you know, that, that was a long time ago now. So, uh, 